Hey guys, so I wanted to do a cooler comparison here between Ligu S8 and the Samsung Galaxy S8 on the uh, right here uh, to see, you know, which uh, is coming with the nice uh, package overall uh, in terms of the value proposition. So obviously the Ligu S8 is a very affordable handset and it comes with the same kind of name here. Uh, but uh, we just want to see the you know performance so we're going to reboot them at the same time and i gotta say you know it feels very nice in the hand uh, the screen doesn't curve all the way around but it is practically bezel-less uh, it's in terms of the you know sides but I don't think it's quite as curved as what you're getting on uh, the Samsung, which does boot on a little bit faster here. I think we're running more mid-range kind of specification on the Ligu. Stylish phone. That's what it is. Uh, so like uh, the... Uh, other phone, the Verni, I do think that the screen could do with being a little bit brighter here as well as being a little bit more sensitive to touch because I have found now and again touching it, uh, it does uh, seem to be a little bit less responsive than your flagship phone but other than that, uh, you know, we're going to see how they do compare here so let's just uh, start up some apps, everything's closed down Yes, it is. And go. Also, I think the screen calibration could do with a little bit of uh, rejigging because the screen looks a little bit too warm than compared to what it should be. But, you know, I don't think uh, these are massive issues. And you can probably change it in the settings all faster here. You see, that's Samsung lag, that is. Can't even go into the camera faster than uh, the Ligu. Ligu again here. Wow, it's on fire. Look at that. But then Samsung comes back. And another one. Ligu again. So really impressive performance here from this. Uh, little phone on the left. Let's try the Play Store. So S8 coming back again. Uh, we do have some uh, Wi-Fi testing to do. Start with the S8. So is the screen actually curved here? That is a good question. Because it looks like the screen is curved, uh, but it's not actually. In fact, is it? It doesn't. It looks like it is. It gives the impression it is, but it isn't, I don't think. Uh, it does really look like it's curved, though, so it, it gives off a much more high-end impression than it is. Uh, oh, crash there on the Samsung. Only six months old. Uh, so I think it got about 200 for the Wi-Fi. Uh, one of the weaknesses of the Ligu is that it only has 2G. This keeps crashing. Uh, so you can see, oh, we got a software update. That could be something to do with it. Uh, quite a big one as well. So that uh, is quite nice. We'll certainly do that eventually. Uh, obviously this is just checking the performance here and you can see I think in terms of the Wi-Fi uh, you are going to get a better on a high-end phone you did notice as well uh, I tapped several times on the screen there uh, to get the thing to respond uh, so we can just have a look in the settings and see what else we're getting uh, in terms of the functionality so Obviously, in the settings, you do get a display option. I'm guessing in here somewhere, uh, we may be able to change the font, uh, the brightness, etc., your wallpaper. But I don't think there's a screen calibration option, which would be very useful. 
uh, you know, in that uh, particular setting. Couldn't see it though. Navigation bar can change the navigation as you can see. Oh, and then let's go back again. And also LED light. Uh, so it has 32 gigs internal storage, which isn't too shabby. Does it have an update area to keep you up to date? It seems it does. So it's already up to date. That is nice. And also, obviously, uh, let's have a look how the camera UIs do compare here. Uh, so I think in terms of the maturity, the Samsung's looks a little bit more grown up. I think the they're still using like older kind of Android interfaces for the camera, so that could be something to improve. I think going forward, but you do get HDR and your flash etc., which is nice. Uh, I don't think you get 4K there or anything you know fancy in terms of the camera, but I think I did spot a dual camera there. So this button probably is the uh, blur effect, which we can just have a look at here, see how it looks. So when you want to take a shot, you just go bam like that. So the shutter is a little bit slow, but uh, you can see. It does do the blur shot quite nice uh, indeed. So let's uh, be honest, you know, about these things. You're not going to get an S8 experience just because it is called S8, but what you are going to get is a solid handset here for, uh, you know, uh, quarter, well, one sixth of the price of a new uh, S8. So that uh, is quite a nice proposition here. Uh, I, w I do wish that on the next one they make it so that the screen is a little bit brighter. Uh, they make it as well with the Type C connectivity. Uh, that uh, would be something to be very useful. Uh, and also, it'd be useful if they made it like more stock Android because I'm sure they used to do like a stock Android build uh, on older phones. Well, this is heavily skinned and may not be to everyone's taste really because there's no app draw. Uh, but probably you can put one on, you know, deep here in the settings. Uh, so, yeah, just a quick little video here comparing Ligu S8 with the Samsung Galaxy S8. Hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.